Animal Crossing New Horizons. A peaceful island life simulator where players befriend adorable animal companions that are ooh, so cute, we would just die for them. But would they do the same for us? If, say, your island fell victim to a violent invading force, would your favourite villagers have the physical strength and mental fortitude to defeat the assailants, or would they rather just sit the whole thing out and have a nap? Well, lucky you, I'm here to get to the bottom of that. So, together, let's cast a judgmental eye across all 413 Animal Crossing New Horizons villagers, yes, even the new ones, and definitively rank every last one of them in order of who can kick the most butt. Calculating the combatability of over 400 cartoon characters is of course a very important task. So, to quantify their results in a more objective and mathematically sturdy way, we'll be feeding each villager through a special fighting formula made up of four steps. But what are the four steps? Well, that's funny you should ask actually, because I'm about to tell you right now. For the first step, we'll be starting off each villager with a base score representing their durability. The least durable villagers, starting with only a single point, are those made of particularly fragile materials, illustrated beautifully here by the porcelain elephant Tia. But villagers made of things like mushy food or being mid-decomposition also count. Only slightly more sturdy are the extremely tiny villagers, and the durability scores go up from there as skins get thicker and the size of each animal species increases. There are, however, two caveats. Caveat 1. Villagers with the foresight to wear additional armour, like this or this, will receive one of these two impressive scores instead, depending on the size of their species. Caveat 2. Better cardio means better endurance. So, villagers with the fitness hobby will be rewarded with one additional point to whatever their durability score would have been otherwise. For the second step, we'll be rewarding villagers whose fierce, creepy, and sometimes viscerally unpleasant appearances could put an enemy on the back foot before a single punch can even be thrown. Villagers who look like a bit of a pushover receive no additional points for step 2, but as a villager's intimidation increases, so too does their score, with the most scary getting a chunky 2 times multiplier to their starting score. They may look the part, but can a villager actually back it up with action? We'll be using this data, carefully sourced from a hasty Google search, to determine how likely each villager personality type would be to box someone's ears if provoked. Adding points for signs of aggression and subtracting them for pacifism, these are the results. As you can see, Normal, Peppy and Smug are the least likely to clash with others, meanwhile Snooty and Cranky villagers get a fairly big bonus by being the most likely to happily force feed someone a knuckle sandwich. We're at the final step. Diplomacy has failed and a fight has broken out. So, just how much damage could a villager do with the weapons at their disposal? Villagers with pathetically pacifist appendages are docked 25% from their score, but as muscles grow, teeth get sharper, and villagers whose bodies are designed to inflict at least a good maiming start making an appearance, up to a 25% boost is possible. 
so those are all four steps we'll be using in order to calculate every single villager's ability to fight a ferocious foe in an easily digestible numerical format. But before we use this method to rank all 413 villagers, including your personal favourite, there's something else easily digestible you should know about. Hi. If you're new here and liking what you're seeing so far, I have plenty of other videos with a similar vibe to this, including a video calculating the edibility of every Animal Crossing villager. So why not subscribe to the channel right now to make sure you don't forget to watch that later. Good choice. Welcome. So, with all the explanations complete, let's get to the fun part and rank every single one of these adorable little scamps by punching potential. Let's start with the lowest scoring and most harmless island residents and gradually work our way up to the most ferocious. But how low could a villager possibly score using our system? Well... Yep, somehow a shocking 11 villagers scored so low that their presence in a fight would apparently be actively unhelpful. A good example of this would be Tangy, whose deployment would only risk giving the enemy their daily amount of vitamin C, and the secretly inflatable rabbit Hopkins is similarly unhelpful, with only a single puncture wound being needed to inflict some serious bunny-based body horror on all allies in his immediate vicinity. I guess it shouldn't really come as a surprise that in a game about making cute animal friends, a whopping 33 of them displayed absolutely no combat credentials. Individuals of note include Candy, who despite a generally poor showing scores maximum points for intimidation thanks to this horrifying secret face that, once you're aware of, you'll… you'll never unsee. And we also have our lowest scoring dog, Lucky who seems to have already been beaten to a pulp before anyone even got here. Look at this adorable collection of cannon fodder that scored just a single point. War has changed. But more importantly, Joey's diaper also needs to be changed, making him not the best pick for a soldier. The One Point Platoon also features the punk rock mouse Bella, who despite being very small, at least manages to put on a good show in terms of intimidation. With the strength of a light breeze, 20 villagers were able to secure an entire two points, including lowlights such as Toby, the worst fighter of all the Sanrio characters, and Egbert, the lowest scoring chicken. Scoring a meagre three points, we have a trio of very buff mice who score comparatively high thanks to their fitness hobby, and while Stitches isn't made of flesh, being covered entirely in padding probably isn't a bad thing when it comes to his durability in a fight. With the offensive potential of a wet paper plate, we have 17 villagers scoring 4 points. Such as Chelsea, whose novelty bunny ears would struggle to even tickle an enemy into submission, and Pudge, who seems to have turned up to a war zone with a tummy ache. Still firmly on the bench of the battlefield, albeit with minor improvements to what came before, we have Ken, the first truly intimidating chicken, and the walking emoji Tabby, capable of inflicting a fate worse than death with a single stare, being branded cringe. And there's just no recovering from that. 37 villagers scored 6 points, including this guy who really couldn't make it any more clear what his deal is, so shame on you if he manages to land a blow. 
and this lady, who I'm 98% sure is a human masquerading as a koala villager, going by the alias Faith. A whopping 9% of all villagers scored 7 points, so chances are this is where at least one of your animal friends calls home. Keep any and all horse villagers away from Marlow, who seems to canonically actually be a mob boss. And we also have Camo Frog, proving that the only thing scarier than what you can't see is a frog that wants to kill you. That you also can't see. This pretty modest offering of villagers scoring 8 points isn't all it seems. While we do have some highlights here, like this seemingly chill chap whose fitness hobby means you probably shouldn't risk throwing hands, the real significance of this group is that it perfectly marks the halfway point of our Animal Crossing cast. So, with the most fearsome 50% waiting to be discovered, let's see the best bruisers New Horizons can offer. Start the battle music. The more combat-ready half of the cast kicks off with a bang, with 27 promising protectors scoring 9 points. Give up your bread, or end up dead, is probably the motto of one of these two very sassy ducks. If you want to avoid a fistful of splinters and a curse that will plague your descendants for 10 generations, I wouldn't recommend punching Coco. And finally, what has two tails, four fists, and a ten-foot vertical? The answer is all three of the nine scoring kangaroo villager tag teams, any of which could give you a quadruple kick up the arse at a moment's notice. 22 villagers finally broke the single digit barrier and scored 10 points. Dressed in check and ready to wreck, it's my favourite villager rolled, proving he doesn't need no protecting. We also have the weakest of New Horizons superhero quartet, the body armoured squirrel, Agent S. And on the subject of additional armour, we have the adorable and sport loving duck, Scoot. In the lineup of villagers scoring 11 points, we start to see a lot of horns making an appearance, plopped atop everything from cows, goats, gazelles, Lovecraftian void consuming monsters taking the form of sheep, and even a unicorn to round out the set. Rising up the ranks, we have 25 villagers that scored 12 points, including Boots, who, despite being a deadly alligator, looks like he lost his mum at a medieval fair. And finally, this gothic pooch. Is she adept in blood magic after forming a pact with Satan? Or is she just big on TikTok? Either way, I wouldn't risk it. Blood magic really stinks. There's bad luck in store for anyone who picks a fight with these villagers, including the armoured and bionic legged Eagle Sterling, and, not to be outdone, Ribot, who not only has a full metal body, but also the fitness hobby, finally answering the question of if a robot can get swole. The answer is yes. As we bask in the presence of the two villagers scoring 14 points, I'm gonna be real with you and say straight up we have quite a few more groups to get through, so let's really pick up the pace until we hit the top 5. The 15 villagers scoring 15 points are pretty much entirely the bigger species now, apart from the cranky chibi troublemaker Vladimir and the eyebrow wielding pooch, Fret. The Motley crew scoring 16 points contains this ex-military penguin, whose name has a couple of connotations, all equally as terrifying. <laughs> 
zooming straight past the empty 17s, we have 12 villagers scoring 18 points, including the highest rated penguin and most noteworthy conjunctivitis sufferer, Hopper, and the triple health bar wielding Bane of Camarocho and captain of the Billy Goats family, Gruff. As we enter the difficult to reach top 50, the number of villagers are predictably starting to thin out a bit, with the only fighter of note here being our final and highest scoring superhero, Rocket. Hold on to your kneecaps, because as we enter the 20s we also enter the realm of the top 10% of the roster, reserved only for truly exceptional talents like mastering the art of black magic or, you know, having a big horn. I mean, it's simple, but it gets the job done. Just three villagers scored 21 points, including Klaus, whose outfit of choice really backfired this time around, with a simple wardrobe change back to his gold armour from New Leaf being enough to net him 26 points instead. Take fashion a little bit more seriously next time. The 13 villagers at 22 points include a whole bunch of individuals ready to steal your lunch money, including the leader of the Wolfgang called, well, Wolfgang. I respect the honesty. Four ladies and a baby make up our roster for 23 points, including our highest scoring new villager, the flower-faced rhino, Azalea. Scoring 24 points, we find four ferocious friends, including a pair of kangaroos who I like to believe are teacher and student midway through their character arc, meaning these guys have the strongest armour of all, plot armour. The villagers scoring 25 points all scored high in intimidation and, judging by the seemingly blood-covered hooves and maybe even mouth on Naomi, I doubt at least hers is an empty threat. Three large lads scored 26 points, including the game's only cranky elephant villager, Sid, And slowing back down as we approach the top five, this final non-podium placing group contains Charlize, the only island resident, as far as I'm aware, with a confirmed kill. And from the complete lack of remorse on her face, I just know she'd do it again. And there you have it. That concludes the scoring and ranking of the bulk of our furry fighters. So, let's dive glutes first into the top five, and finally answer the question, who is the most deadly fighter in Animal Crossing New Horizons? It's top five time, and the power level of these villagers is really getting out of hand now. With the villager who took home the title of fifth most formidable friend scoring a white knuckle inducing 28 points. So, who is the fifth best purveyor of punches? Boyd might not look like much, but underestimate those rosy orange cheeks at your peril. Not only is he a hulking great gorilla and the owner of a remarkably intimidating death stare but his name is also one simple change away from the word body. Which is exactly what he'll do to you, if given the chance. The villager in fourth place didn't so much build on Boyd's legacy as just kind of sit on top of it. With an incredibly minor score increase to 28.125. So who is this fourth finest fighter? This Kung Fu Panda lookalike, despite being a bear, does seem rather harmless on the surface. But lock your windows, because it's doubtful that's really the case, due to these extremely suspect quotes from the wiki. I mean, what do you even say about- Oh, don't do that. 
Oh, it's getting good now. It is top three time. And once again, a single villager managed to snag this spot, scoring a truly incredible 31.875 points. So who is this bronze winning brute? Dell is so near perfection, it's incredible to behold. There's also an inspiring redemption story here, as Dell scored absolutely no points at all in the edibility video, but despite all that, he came through when it counted the most, and beat 409 of his peers to claim the title of the third best fighter. But. Believe it or not, the combatants just keep getting better. With the two villagers in second place, improving on the previous scores with a terrifying 32.5 points. But who could possibly be shredded enough to snatch the silver medal? These two tussling titans are the perfect example of pure performance with no funny stuff. There are no armour or fitness bonuses here, just maximum scores all round using normal means. I also have to admire the confidence on display in these two, with both their shirts making me think they expected to take the top spot. But in order to get that honour, no thrills perfection just won't cut it. So who can? It is finally time. We are mere moments away from finding out who is the most valuable battle asset for you to have on your Animal Crossing island, achieving a truly implausible 40 points. Who is the most ferocious fighter in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Yes, it's Vic. What do you mean, who's Vic? This viking bull has been around since New Leaf, and has pretty much flown under the radar, that is, until now. So how did he do it? Yes, this burly bull was not only able to max out all his attributes thanks to his behorned helmet, but he also netted himself the fitness bonus, giving this underdog the mathematically highest score possible of 40 points. Well done. So that was all 413 villagers ranked by fighting ability. How many points did your island score by combining the power level of all your villagers? Did you manage to fend off the invaders with a score above the average of 94? Please let me know in the comments. And remember, stay on your best behaviour, because Chow is always watching. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed yourself today, the best way to support the channel really is subscribing. And if you are already subscribed, or you just like to go the extra mile, I'm on Twitter and Twitch too, using the handles below. Bye bye, I'll see you next time.